Well, I fell in love with Casey the moment I saw her. And the running joke was, was that she didn't feel the same at all. <laughs> Took her a while to come round. But, you know, it, it all fell into place. Casey got a cough that wouldn't go away. And she was diagnosed on the 16th of January, 2015. They took a biopsy and the consultant told us she had stage four lung cancer and it was inoperable and incurable. Our world changed. We got married May 2015. She passed away April 2017. We never asked for a prognosis. We didn't want to know. We didn't try and determine a time scale of how long we had left. Getting extra time was everything. We did lots together. We went to Key West in Florida, Iceland, saw the Northern Lights, Jerusalem, the Western Wall. We both put our prayers in the wall and she looked at me and she said, I don't have to ask you what you prayed for. I said, I know, but I don't think I'll ever get a PlayStation 4. <laughs> we both cracked up. Those moments of humour remind you you're alive. Katie campaigned for life-enhancing drugs, you know, to be available to everybody. She, she believed it was people's right. The only thing that Katie wanted was to be well enough to have her wedding day. We've been through so much in those few months leading up to that. It was an explosion of joy. It was perfect, yeah. I kissed her every morning before I left work, every day when I came home every night before I went to bed and I told her I loved her each time. It's funny, you never actually say goodbye, but the chance to just look at one another and understand and you were together, that means everything.